Hey everyone and welcome back to another Unity RPG tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be creating a simple gathering system. So our player can walk up to an object such as a plant or ore and gather that material after a certain amount of time. So what we're going to be doing is making it so we can select that object and as long as our player doesn't move um, it'll create a countdown timer that once it reaches zero it will add it to our player's inventory but in this case we're just going to destroy the object in the future we're going to make it so we can actually gather it put it into our inventory and use the item for crafting purposes or selling and uh, any other activities that you would use that for in an RPG and so the first thing you're going to want to do is create a planter or ore or something that you want to gather so I just created a, um, a basic box and I added an alpha texture to it, a rigid body, and I set the tag as plant. Now this is what I'm going to be using for the gathering. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we need right now. But like I said, you could set this up for plants and ore and we can um, reference the tags differently within the code so that you can gather different objects using that. So we'll go jump into our code. And the first thing we're going to do is set up a few variables um, just for our gathering system. Now we're going to need gathering object selected so we know which object we currently have selected. This is going to be the one we're going to destroy. And in the future we can reference what exactly this object is that we gathered and add it to our inventory. And then a bool is gathering. So this is just telling us um, if we are gathering or not. If we move, um, we don't want... Or, or we want to set this to false or if we click the object again that we are currently gathering that we're not gathering it twice um, before finishing so that's what we're going to be using that for a simple gather timer that we can actually count down depending on how long we're gathering for so we're just going to be setting the default to three seconds so once it reaches zero it's going to um, add the item yeah, eventually to our inventory and then uh, gathering start position. Now there's a couple of different ways you could do this. This is the way that I'm setting it up. But what we're going to be doing is once our player starts gathering, we wanna make sure that our player does not move. If our player does move, then we wanna cancel uh, the gathering for that item. So in this case, I'm just going to reference the player position when they started gathering. And then from there, if our player moves at any point while gathering, it will cancel the is gathering. So in this case, you could also set it up another way is in the actual movement code of your player. So if you press any button that might move your player, you jump or do anything along those lines um, to change the position, you could set is gathering to false that way as well. I just found this way to be a little more simple and that it keeps it all in this script right here. So if we scroll down, let's see here. So what we're going to be doing is, uh, where did I put that? Okay, yeah, right here. So right now, um, select a target. We're just we're gonna have to rework this system a little bit more for the, uh, yeah, the right clicking. And um, in the future, when we right click, we want to tell which object we right clicked on. Maybe if it's enemy or something else, they have different attributes. Uh, when it comes to right clicking so maybe if you right click on a enemy you attack them or if you right cl click a gathering object you gather them so this system will have to be set up a little bit different but for right now when we right click our mouse it's going to call right click object so we'll scroll down to right click object and what we're going to be doing is another raycast setup so it'll raycast um, from our mouse cursor position out into the world. And if we hit the target for plant that we want to gather, um, the first thing we're going to do, so in here you could also do an else if statement and set different tags for this. So if you have plant or et cetera, et cetera, for different items that you want to gather, you can just set it up all in here. And then their next thing is going to be if, if uh, is gathering equal, equals false. So in that case, if we are not currently gathering, then we do want to start gathering. 
And what we're gonna do is set the gathering object selected to whatever we hit. So if we hit a plant, it will apply that object here. And then we're going to set the start position of our player, and this is going to be for if the player moves or not, then we wanna cancel. And we're gonna set the gather timer. You could create a, um, just a public variable or something along those lines if you wanna set the timer that way, if you wanna have different times, but for now, we're just going to add it in here. Um, if you're gathering different objects, maybe some objects might take longer than others, but for now, we're just going to set that to that. And then we wanna set is gathering to true to say we have started gathering. Now you can put all this in another script or a function that's just like void uh, start gathering or something like that. But for simplicity, we're just gonna leave it in here for now. Uh, we can definitely come back and rework these systems later. But uh, yeah, just for testing purposes, we'll, we'll keep it like that. So in here, if we have started gathering, so as soon as we change that to true, we wanna go in here and check the gather timer, which we set to three seconds. And we're gonna count down. So as long as it's greater than zero, we wanna count down that time until it hits zero or gets less than uh, zero. And then else, so once our timer actually runs out, we are no longer gathering, and we wanna destroy the object that we were gathering. Now we can also use um, a type of respawn system again for these plants. Um, for the most part, you probably wanna create a bunch of different nodes and respawn them accordingly once they're, uh, they have been gathered and kind of randomly place them throughout the world. Uh, we could set up a system like that in the future where it just randomly generates uh, in a certain area where we want to place it. So it'd work kind of like the enemy placement in a way, but you'd probably want to set up uh, specific nodes just so it doesn't end up on top of a, a mountain or anything. And then this piece of code is also going to be called, uh, no matter what, while we're gathering, just to check the position of our player um, as reference to where they started gathering. So at any time, if our player moves, it'll set is gathering to false. And we'll print it right there. So in this case, uh, your player can rotate around. So if you wanna look around and rotate, that's fine. But as soon as you step away or step in any direction, it's going to cancel that. What we could also do in here is set up a, a progress bar for actually gathering. Uh, we could set up a progress bar later we're gonna be using that for spell casting in both uh, gathering as well. So we could have a global function for if our player is gathering anything or casting that will display that. So if we jump back into Unity, um, I think we should be good with everything. I'm just gonna select my player real quick so we can actually see the gathering timer. And I will also, real quick, I'll just bring up the debug when we get there. So if we bring this up, clear it real quick. So if we're standing right here, we can look at the gathering timer. It's gonna reset, and if we move, player move while gathering, and it'll always reset. If we rotate, it's perfectly fine. And then if we actually want to start gathering, and it gets to zero, we gathered the item and it destroyed it. So all we'd have to do in that case is add that item to our inventory or whatever we're using. So another thing that could be a possible problem in the future, well, is something else we have to implement, is if we go re really far back, there's two ways we could do this. Right now we can start gathering from really far away and you see that we gather the item from any distance that our raycast can cast at. So a simple fix for this would be to change your raycast distance at which you could select the item. So you could change how far the raycast goes that hits the item to make it so your player has to be really close to the item in order for this to actually work. But the better way to do it would be to calculate the position where the player is and the item that you had selected. So let's see here real quick. It'll be the gathering object selected position and the player position. So if we ended up grabbing, let's say, um, the actual distance. So here's something we used before to calculate distance. 
all you'd have to do is say your position and the the position of the selected uh, gathering item. And if you're not within a certain distance, then we could just make it so uh, we're not able to select that item and start gathering. So it, and then we can print some error code that says the player is too far away from the object to um, not gather it. But yeah, it's a little more than I had planned for this tutorial. But yeah, that would be the basic way to implement uh, more of that. So yeah, guys, that's just a simple way of implementing a gathering system. Hopefully in the future we can add a lot more stuff to this and actually make it so we can craft different items and stuff along those lines. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.